2013, the fatal bullet came flying through their living room window while the fourth grader was playing video games with his then 15-year-old brother. He fell face first. Um, I didn't really know what happened. A family in Peel is still mourning their young son killed in a senseless shooting seven years ago. Nine-year-old Kashawn Williams was shot in his Brampton living room, and today his murder remains unsolved. On the anniversary of his death, we sat down with his mother and brother who are making a plea to the public and to Peel police not to forget about young, young Keyshawn. There's no child on this earth that God has created that anybody deserves to die with a bullet in their head. None. An innocent child. This is him at daycare. It's been seven years, but Tanya Garvey still feels the pain like it was yesterday. He was sweet, loving, kind, compassionate. Garvey's nine-year-old son, Kishon Williams, was shot and killed in January of 2013. The fatal bullet came flying through their living room window while the fourth grader was playing video games with his then 15-year-old brother. He fell face first. Um, I didn't really know what happened. I just heard a shock, like I heard a pop, and I didn't, I didn't think my brother just got shot. Like, you know, my brother's dying right there in my arms and un totally unexpectedly. Peel police confirmed the young boys weren't targeted, but the house likely was. The family had just moved from Hamilton five days before. Seven years on, the tragedy has left a lasting impact on Kashan's brother and mother. I can't even sit in front of my window without feeling scared. Mother and son refused to return to their bloodstained home, which they say had been robbed in their absence. Garvey, unable to return to work as a personal support worker, stayed in a shelter with her son, homeless for four years while on a waiting list for housing. The pair remain tormented by unanswered questions and say they feel forgotten by Peel police. My brother was shot in his head in his home and his living room as if he was assassinated. They just treat it like it's nothing, like... To just push it under the rug and me and my mom, they expect us to just pick up the pieces and keep moving. What do you say to them when they say, we feel like this case has been forgotten? 
Um, I, I mean, I can understand the frustration uh, anytime you lose uh, a loved one, especially someone as young as uh, uh, Keyshawn being nine. It is still an open case, and um, it may not be actively as in uh, uh, some of our uh, most recent cases, but it definitely is an open case. A year after Kashan's death, police released this surveillance video, putting up a $25,000 reward. Garvey even offered to add thousands to the pot from money she'd received from victims' compensation, but was turned down. It's unclear why. In 2016, it was revealed that a gun connected to the murder of a Toronto man killed the same year as Kashan was the same weapon used in the young boy's killing. But no arrests have been made in either case. Now 21, Kajan says he's still traumatized by the way Peel police dealt with him that night. He was taken in for questioning, barred from accompanying his baby brother to hospital. As they're putting me to the car, I'm like begging them, please, like, let me go with my brother. Like, you know, he's dying. He needs to be with at least me. He's probably scared, you know. I still cry every night because I can't sleep with my brother. Peel police have defended their actions as standard practice. The investigators are trying to gather as much information as possible from, from everyone that was at the scene. Would it not be possible to question him at hospital? Uh, not, uh, it wouldn't be a proper setting. As for Tanya Garvey, she lives with Help! a hole in her heart and hopes someone Help! will hear her plea. Help! Help! Help me! Help me! I don't care. All you guys are going to get charged. I'm reporting you to the police. Your niece is a troublemaker. She worships the devil. She hits kids and she hits people. You saw her try to hit me three times. I'm screaming help. You saw her try to hit me. She's a ghetto nigger bitch. It's a ghetto nigger bitch. She kills children. You see the death that happened in Brampton? There was a death that happened in Brampton. A little boy died. Somebody shot a little boy through a window. You see her niece? You see the little boy? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna hit me. You're not gonna hit me, bro. Yo, yo, you see the little kid? You see the little kid that died? You see the little kid that died in Arenda? Dimes? Her niece? They came. You see, you see Cavity Kid? You see Cavity Kid? They came and they shot up Cavity Kid's old house for this girl. She's so demonic. She worshiped the fucking devil. She see me in the mall. She tried to hit me. I tried to hug her. He was sweet, loving, kind, compassionate. Garvey's nine-year-old son, Kishon Williams, was shot and killed in January of 2013. The fatal bullet came flying through their living room window while the fourth grader was playing video games with his then 15-year-old brother. He fell face first. Um, I didn't really know what happened. I just heard a shot, like I heard a pop, and I didn't, I didn't think my brother just got shot. Like, you know, 